All right, so what's up? Nick Patterson at it with another one, Quad Squad. Yeah, so this one's a little bit different, different topic for, for y'all. Um, is It's about 3D printing. So I picked up the hobby of 3D printing, been doing a bunch of research, buying, selling, doing of 3D printing. I've been probably went through about six printers in the last, uh, I guess, year. So I'm really getting good and being very tech savvy with um with the with the printing print three D printing field, um but yeah so what I made this video about is has to do with Raspberry Pi, OctoPrint, Creality Cloud app, and having a non Creality printer, and being able to make that all encompass making it as accessible as possible to use your printer. You know what I mean? Um, so because we all know about well at least if you 3d print it um, Raspberry Pi with Octo, Octo print has a bunch of plugins and everything that you can run your printer you can use it for any type of printer mostly um, and uh, etc so with that like there's if you get a Creality printer which I had an Ender 3 v 2 so with that I got the Wi-Fi box with it that that way I could use the app and cloud slice so use the slicing software and just send it directly to my printer um, and it was just really accessible to use my phone because having to get used my computer all the time was a little bit frustrating um, so yeah so I did that so I, I traded my Ender 3 v2 so then I because I wanted this Eligu 2d so that I could have two different colors to use whatever I want to etc because um, I hate having to get my PSW to switch the spools all the time, so it's kind of like having three, uh, two printers in one. Anyway, so with that, I went and set up my OctoPrint with um, my Raspberry Pi up to it, so I could print from my computer. Um, and I was like, I wish that I could use the the Creality Cloud software, um, like app, to like slice software and send it to my printer. You know what I mean? Um, and then I was like, you know what, maybe I could, I'll look in to see if I could do that. And it is possible. It's literally printing right now from uh, a file that I printed from my uh, Creality Cloud. Because when you go into Creality Cloud, you can actually set up a Raspberry Pi to control your printer. And it thinks that you're setting it up for a Creality printer, but realistically, it doesn't know what printer you've got hooked up to it. And if it's very similar, just like how the Eligu 2 or 2D or whatever is very similar to the Ender 3 v 2 then it doesn't, I guess it doesn't realize that it's not a Creality printer. So it actually does work. So I figured that out. Um, and I can walk you through how to set it up and how it works and show that it works. And um, therefore, you can use your OctoPrint Raspberry Pi with any printer and be able to use the cloud so slicing software from the Creality app because there's no other slicing software app that you can use to connect in whatever. So it's it, it makes my world a world of a difference in my life with accessibility. That way I can use my phone and my app or I can use my computer. You know what I mean? No limits. Um, anyways, so I'll, I'll hop right into it. Um, and yeah, and I'll show you how to do it and etc. Try to make it the quickest video as I can, because I mean, yeah, this is mainly for any anyone else that uses 3D printing and wants to make it a little easier on yourself and want to be able to slice things on your phone and send it to your printer and also monitor your prints and everything from away from your phone off. I mean, away from your home on other networks. Because with the OctoPrint, Octo you have to be on your home network to use it. But when you hook it up to the Creality Cloud, it actually lets you use it and monitor it away from home, which is another fucking bonus. Sorry for my swearing. Anyways, I'll hop right into it, show you how to set it up. I mean, I already have it set it up, but I'll still, I'll just walk you through it. You know what I mean? All right. Hit that like button, subscribe, whatever you want. Let me know if you want more videos about my 3D printing experience, history, what I gone through, frustrations, is it possible, how easy is it, and etc. Or review my printers, like I've got a CR10 Smart over here, and like over this one, 
Anyways, I'm gonna hop into it because I talk too much. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through how to set up the Raspberry Pi on the Creality Cloud and make it so that you can use it with any printer that you want. You're not just limited to Creality printers, which blew my mind and made it so much more accessible with whatever printer I want. Anyway, so let's hop right into it. So, Creality Cloud. It opens up this where you can browse to find whatever whatever things you want to print or whatever. So what you do is you go into devices. So you go into devices. You can set up smart printers, other printers, Wi-Fi boxes, Raspberry Pis. So what we do, we go up to the plus. When we go over to plus, it gives you the option for the Creality Box or the Raspberry Pi. I'll give you summaries of the two afterwards but we're focusing on the Raspberry Pi, so you go into Raspberry Pi. So with this, when you go into that, it actually has like a little detailed instruction down here at the bottom, um, but literally press create Raspberry, um, and that's your download key. So I'll, I'll me I'm gonna mention something about it when it comes time. So if you go here, it gives me, I, this lets me really explain it without having going back and forth with my computer. So I'm going to assume that you already have OctoPie on a Raspberry Pi um, already installed because um, there's plenty of YouTube videos on that. So um, yeah, so then step two, once you've already got that done, what you have to do is go into your OctoPrint and when you go into your Oct OctoPrint on your de desktop, um, you'll be able to go into your settings and find plugin plugins. So when you go to plugins, um, in order to run Creality Cloud and everything, you have to install these four four plugins. Um, the way you do that is there's here's some pictures right here. So you go into plugins and you go install new plugins, and right here you'll find from U URL. So you take each one of these individually at their own times and then you put it in there and you press install. It will fetch the data, install the plugin, bing bang boom, you've got Creality Cloud set up um, on a Raspberry Pi. So yeah, so then you just have to restart your Octoprint and therefore then it will start up with the plugins installed. And yeah, so now you have to go get that key file that I showed you before. You have to download it, and the way I did it is I downloaded it and I emailed it to myself so that I could go on my desktop and go into my plugins and go to the Creality Cloud plugin, which looks like this, and you have to press the browse, and after you've downloaded it from your email, you input that file into that browse when it brings up your file manager, and once you put that in, bam. You're done. You've got OctoPrint and Creality Cloud set up, and you can slice and send things to your printer, whether you've got a Creality printer or not. I've got an Elegoo Neptune 2D, therefore I have two colors, and it works. It works with that. I mean, there's some glitches here and there. The odd time it, it didn't work, um, but I mean, it, it's it's not perfect because it's not meant for, but it still works. I've I printed a Benchy. I'll take you through an example after, but yeah, so that's how you do it. So slice and print. Um, it, it gives this example for Creality, but it works with my Neptune and it might work with yours. Well, probably would. But yeah, so now you go back, and now that that's the key file you have to download, email to yourself, and open on your desktop, etc. And bam, and there you go. And then it should show up here online tf card and printer check mark that means it's all set up um and yeah and that's that i'll show you, i'll walk you through an example now all right so let's do a benchy everyone knows a benchy if you're a 3d printing person uh, so yeah let's search it up we're at the Cl creative cloud we search up we find a benchy i didn't mean to say bench and we corrected it so let's put benchy uh, and yeah, and let's let's get a little boat. Let's make a little boat. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, let's boat the float. All right. So then, for the Creality Cloud, you press the little slice button. Takes you into the slicer. 
You choose what printer you got. I put M3B2, it's closest to what I've got. This is for the Neptune 2. Um, and yeah, so now you go, you pick your slicing profile. If you need to make any setting changes or anything, you just browse that, make sure you got all the right settings in. Um, you see something that's not right. Then you go into the setting setting bar down at the bottom right. Um, and that's where you can change the infill, the speed, the, the supports, the etc. Um, and yeah, and if you've used the slicer before, it's pretty, it's a pretty straightforward. Um, and yeah, so then you go and click slice, and uh, it will uh, slice it, slice it up. And there you go. You got a little file of a bench sheet that's ready to go get printed. You know what I mean? So now you go back to your Raspberry Pi that you set up. And then you click your Raspberry Pi, click the select slice, you choose your Benchy, and confirm. I got I got a little bit of glitching um, this time that I was trying to do it. Um, it doesn't always do that, but so I had to go back and try to reload the, the slice. Yeah, sometimes it's uh, it doesn't show that it did it, but then if you just load it again, then it, it ends up showing that it did start the slice. Um, I think it actually did start the slice while I kept trying to do this. It just didn't catch up quick enough. Um, so yeah, you can change the temperature and all that stuff. Um, it's actually way better than Creality Box because the Creality Box wouldn't let me actually move the printer. Even when I have the CR10 Smart, it doesn't let me move the print head or anything like that. It literally just lets me home it. But it doesn't let me go up 10 millimeters left, right, move the bed or anything. Um, but with the um, OctoPrint and Raspberry Pi, it actually does let me move the printer however I want to move the printer from the Creality Cloud like app. But here, here, so I, I thought I'd go to camera and show you that it actually loaded up to the OctoPrint. Um, I've got OctoDash, but still it shows that it loaded onto the, the Raspberry Pi and it's hooked up to the, the Neptune 2D via the USB and yeah I got some green PETGs loaded in there ready to make a benchy you know what I mean and yeah sometimes it glitches out but end of the day it uh it does work it does work sometimes you have to load it up twice or sometimes it might fail print but that's with anything or any software you use there's always going to be failed prints all right so I hope this little tutorial helped you um, with figuring out how to set up um, your OctoPrint to work with Creality Cloud with any printer that you want. I'm sure that it will work with any printer. I mean, it's just you might have to make a custom profile on the Creality Cloud software if you've got something different than is comparable to a Creality printer. Um, but with the Neptune 2 slash 2D 2S, um, it's going to work great um, I'm really glad to have figured this out and been able to get it done uh, and I wanted to share that with everyone else because I tried to look up YouTube videos on how to do it and I couldn't figure it out so I had to MacGyver and figure it out myself as I do with everything else um, and yeah so I mean the benefits of using the Octoprint so you guys probably already know all of them plugins so many plugins for so many things. Being able to use your webcam with time lapse, um, any webcam, not just the Creality webcam. Um, yeah, being able to slice on the Creality Cloud and be able to print from the Creality Cloud, but also print from your Cura, your Elegoo Cura, um, directly to OctoPrint, um, regular Cura, whatever Cura, um, and yeah be able to control your your printer from the octoprint 
um, either online dashboard, your app dashboard, or from the Creality Cloud dashboard. Um, it gives you the option to look at the webcam, but it doesn't ever pull up the webcam. So I think that that part is a little flawed. But I mean, that doesn't really matter. You're using it to print and slice from your phone and print. And the greatest thing is that you can print from outside of your house and monitor it from outside of your house and like not have to be on your network so it makes it so that you don't have to use Octo, Octo Everywhere. Um, I mean, I never ended up using Octo Everywhere. I got the notifications and stuff like that. Um, but I never got around to using it, but now I really don't need to use it because the Creality Cloud does that for me. Um, and yeah, so it, it basically gives me all, all of the things that would be great about an Ender 3 or any Creality printer and gives it the benefit of Creality Cloud. And yeah, so I, I'm very happy with my Neptune 2D so far. It's pretty cool having two different colors that I can print with. Um, if you want, I can do some so a review on the printer. Just leave that down in the comments and I can go through that. Um, but yeah, so I mean, the Wi-Fi box is a little limiting with Creality. Um, you, there's no plugins. Um, it doesn't let you control your computer, your printer from the Creality Cloud interface, um, and yeah, like it, you can't you can't put a touch screen on it and control it from anywhere else but the, the app. Um, and yeah, I mean it is great a great benefit to be able to print away from home and print over Wi-Fi. Like my Ender 3 V2 and Wi-Fi box, that was a great beginner option for me. Um, like it got me into it, gave me Wi-Fi capabilities, let me get into the printer and not have to do SD card to SD card to SD card to SD card and having my PSW put it back and forth because my fingers are screwed, I can't do it myself. So, I mean, either way, if, you, if you're a quad, for all my quads out there, if you're getting into printing, definitely get a printer with Wi-Fi. Um, it just makes your life a lot easier and I mean, if you've got the tech savvy ability, to get an Octo, I mean a Raspberry Pi and set up Octo Print and all that stuff. Ask your questions away if you want help with that. Um, you can also buy them set up on Kijiji secondhand or whatever. But anyways, I hope it helped. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comments. Hit that like button, the subscribe button. Um, I can make more printer videos if you want to see it. Like for example, one thing. So there's no videos out there on how to install one of these dual dual gear extruders on a Neptune it's I'm trying to show you the name it's one of those BMG ones yeah like one of those there's no videos on how to install it on this or do the E steps or anything like that I'm putting it on both I'm putting on both extruders because it's a two extruder two colors so I'm going to put one of these on each side because these metal extruders are they're a pain in the ass trying to squeeze and get it in there and then it goes out the side and etc. I had to upgrade it on my last Creality but this time I did my education and these seem to be the best so I'm going to figure out how to put those on. If you want me to leave a video on how to do it and how I did it so you can do it yourself um, I can do that. I probably will do that either way but I'd like to see if anyone actually wants to see that and see how it's done. Anyways. I hope you all have a good day. I, I'm going too long, so peace.